Hello, welcome here to Charles Boulevard. It's me, Pavel. A Bernie PB. And the third man. The third man. Dermot. We got Dermot here. We are united. We are all together. But we are going to talk about infamous last word. Enjoy it. Tis the season to decide As words come back to haunt in the end I'm not talking too much of pride To save our future I'll be on your side Shaking up my guiding light Take it higher now Take me down and let it be As you wind it down Standing up my bride-to-be Tis the season Take a side and I'm crying, we'll all lose in the end I've not spoken, time will tell Just who broke the liberty bell Shaking at my pride and joy Take it higher now Take me down the strawberry fields As the curtain falls No one else is in my tree Just a infamous last word I guess you noticed uh, we are different again and I must say that this for me this is a very funny song because uh, I w when I was uh, working on the first uh, idea it actually should have been uh, famous last word because I wanted to create the famous last word in the end okay. of our work on the album right. but uh, then I had the melody mm -hmm. and I needed that extra beat there so I get there and I really like that uh, we go for a ride for our famous, uh, and, and what's the beat, you know? So finally, our famous last word became the infamous, infamous last, last word. word. And it works. <laughs> yeah. it, well, it works well, but uh, uh, probably someone wanted to, to have a different meaning to the song. Well, that's it. You know. But um, we decided to, to make it as uh, the last song uh, of, uh, of our... Uh, YouTube uh, Syria about creating our album uh, but and we had two sure. reasons yeah. because it's that infamous last word and the other reason is that I don't like it yeah but uh, no maybe it's not why don't you like it Bernie yeah no I, I'm not sure about harmony and the chorus actually yeah in fact, when you say I don't like it, I remember an uh, old Robbie Robertson song, uh, Somewhere Down the Crazy River, okay. when the lady says, 
Maybe you don't like it now, but you learn to love it later. I won't. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I think you will burn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you make you me, if you make me like right. the songs eventually, don't you? Come on. Okay. Every song, you love it. Yeah. <laughs> we will see you. Well, yeah. This is the first special episode because Bernie doesn't love the song. You yeah. Know? No, this is the exception. That's the exception. Well, be careful! I feel like in prison right now. Yeah. <laughs> you will learn. Down to love and it. close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Learn to love it, or else. Yes, okay. you will learn to love it later <laughs> for sure. But uh, it is a very strange song in many, many ways because. Uh, you did fantastic work with the lyrics, Dermot, and uh, yeah. the story is just incredible. How did you get to that, in a way? Well, you sent me, yeah, the infamous last words, and I just thought it was a good idea for um, the Beatles, I, actually. Uh, it yeah. reminded me of the breakup of the Beatles. Um, and just by coincidence, at that time, a friend of mine it was last September, a friend of mine gave me the, uh, it was the 50th anniversary uh -huh. of the release of Abbey Road. And uh, it was an article about the breakup of the Beatles. Mm -hmm. And it was just the same week I started working on the song. And I just tied in yeah, the story sure, sure. really well. And I had material to write the verses. Yeah. Because you said to me, keep the chorus. Yes, because and I, I love the, the chorus. chorus. Yeah, I love the chorus. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the funny thing about this song is that me, so there are really completely different views of each each of us and it kind of got together and uh, I know, Bernie, we had some hard and time. There will be fight, right? <laughs> no, but, uh, no, but let, let's look how we were creating it because this was a little bit harder to do because uh, we are, all of us, weren't completely sure, you know, well. um, about um, the qualities of the song. So uh, we had to kind of, uh, you I'm know, show someone that it's really uh, a good one. You I know? started to get angry with, with you. <laughs> Be careful, man. Okay, so let's look at it. <laughs> Tis the season to decide. As the words come back and haunt me in the end I'm not talking Shaking up my guiding light Taking higher now Take me down and let it be We'd go for a ride For a Okay guys, so uh, I think um, today it's a little bit special. The first thing, we are all together here. Mm -hmm. uh, we, yeah. we got the last song and the song is very, um, for heavy. me, mysterious and heavy, and, heavy. Heavy. <laughs> and heavy, but really mysterious because we're just uh, talking about it with Bernie that uh, uh, in episode for the song Into the News, uh, yeah. we played a song let it be by the Beatles and uh, Bernie said that for him the song is extremely sad because it represents yeah, the end it. of the Beatles is Definitely. it right? yeah is that yeah and um, I think that uh, all of us uh, used to be or still are um, fans of the Beatles Who as isn't? many people Who yeah, isn't of course yeah. so uh, f for all of us it was kind of uh, strange feeling and uh, then uh, when uh, you uh, brought me the uh, the idea or you sent me the idea uh, what you would like to write about in, in famous last word yeah uh, we said oh some, something mysterious is going on here you know because um, well it wasn't planned sounded like the end of a relationship really didn't it infamous last words well yes so that was the idea that it would be in this case not a boy girl breakup but the end of a a band really yeah and the breakup of a band that was probably the most famous band in the world so that was the concept uh, yeah. or the inspiration for me 
to write the verses. Yes, and I must say that for me it moved the song a little bit higher level again. And hmm. I'm, I'm it's brilliant. you know, it, it's so funny because uh, when I was uh, working on the uh, on the instrumental part of the song, uh, I I wanted to move it uh, m to move the sound of the guitar very much mm -hmm. to the to the 60s very much to to the records like um i don't know uh, sergeant pepper's lonely hearts club band or, or abbey uh, road or yeah. abbey road yeah uh, so something really very uh, something that is not used today nobody's using these things today so that was kind of a goal for me so you found it in there so it, i think the again what we said a couple of times before the song asked for that probably it's well a, actually yeah the writing the lyrics actually coincided with the 50th anniversary of the breakup of the Beatles which yeah, is quite sure. interesting because it was inspired about that from that article where they talked about what happened after they finished recording Abbey Road yeah and apparently everybody thought Abbey Road was decided that it would be their last album because the last track of Abbey Road is called The End but um, recent uh, tapes have come out about a meeting in September a couple of weeks after mm -hmm. Abbey Road was released where the Beatles are talking about a new album yep. so they had not intended to split after Abbey Road mm -hmm. and that was quite fascinating and people didn't really know that the Beatles actually were planning a new album uh, later after yeah, Abbey yeah, Road exactly. in September 69 and you said that uh, the the whole the whole song is written in the perspective of uh, Paul. Is it right? In that sense, yeah, because the other Beatles had decided they wanted a specific manager, whereas Paul wanted a different manager. So it it ended up really being three votes against one. Mm -hmm. And he said in the article actually where he talks about why the Beatles split, he said that that was the point that three. They were not united. Yeah, for the first sure, time. sure, sure. The, it was uh, a split. And he actually quoted in the article that um, the Liberty Bell was broken. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Or there was a crack in the Liberty Bell. And uh, I actually used that line in the uh, mm -hmm. one of the verses. Well, it just got me an idea that uh, what Dermot is trying to say here, that uh, none of us should uh, bring a manager here otherwise we will break up soon <laughs> uh, so this is uh, uh, the question to you uh, that maybe you should uh, bring uh, uh, some manager for us uh, that we don't know and we are completely not connected to that's a good idea think about that but I suppose <laughs> you could apply this to any band really couldn't you it's yeah. almost a template of why yeah. bands break up There's well for sure some business reason or personality reason so. yes. or recording the the album or going for a tour is it right <laughs> uh, well the Beatles probably wrote the template that's why bands yeah. break uh, up yeah. and uh. we have had millions of bands break up after that, that is the same way, way. this you is know. really um, an unexpected an unexpected topic for for the song which because usually everyone sings about love about depression it's much easier mm -hmm. than topic like this yeah. Well, I, I think I found it very interesting and very thrilling, in fact. Uh, so, uh, when we were arguing uh, if we should do the song or not to do we the didn't. song, we were arguing a lot, a couple of months. No. I remember. I always don't, said, believe, don't, believe, don't, don't believe me. No, no, no. I always said, maybe we should do the, the infamous software. And he said, no, I don't really think so. And uh, so, we were, you know, in fact, uh, arguing about this for a long time. Uh, but. <laughs> But this, probably this yeah. was the thing that, that broke it because uh, um, it's really thrilling to sing, to sing a song about such a theme, you know, that's, yeah. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, yeah, even the line, which I like to, literally the title, mm -hmm. inspired me to write the verses because we can only speculate what were the infamous last words. Were they let it be? Yeah. Were they bye bye? Mm -hmm. Were they Never. see you later? We don't know. I'm pretty scared that I think that there were no <laughs> words. <laughs> they just didn't well, say Well, that's what you say in the, in the chorus, you know. <laughs> yeah. Not much has been said. Not much just has been said. Just our infamous last words. Yeah. But the mystery is what were the infamous last words? 
we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we can think about it. But <laughs> uh, just when, when we're talking about uh, these things, maybe we should uh, say something more about how the, the lyrics uh, were written for Charles Boulevard album. Uh, for all the songs, because uh, mm -hmm. we had to, uh, we kind of developed pretty nice um, uh, workflow, you know. I, I was really amazed. The first song that we were working on was Best Buy. Yeah. And uh, I remember that uh, we kind of ping ponged uh, the lyrics uh, for a while. It took about two months uh, that uh, I was said maybe this would be a little bit different, and then, then you sent it to me and uh, you said, okay, okay. And um, we did that one, and yeah. since then it was still the same recipe. I said, we will work on this song. I wrote the first, uh, at the beginning for sure, I wrote the for first sure. kind of draft uh, of the lyrics and sent it to you, mm -hmm. and you reworked it or uh, finished it somehow and sent it back to me, and I said, okay, the guy nailed it again. You know, so. We just got a formula going, didn't we? Yeah, and I think so. Best Buy was the test. When we got over Best Buy, it just yeah. got easier and easier. For sure. That's why I think Best Buy for me, it's a very, uh, it, it's an amazing song, you know. Yeah. That's why it's... It's uh, just the best one, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's the best one. <laughs> was your no, favorite? I, but no. It, it's the it was your favorite? No, it was the I first one. But yeah. then the second one was your favorite. But it sounds good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love all of them. You know that, yeah, guys. Yeah, of course. But, uh, you know, it proved the, that was the first song that we were working on and it yeah. proved that we can do yeah. that. And, and that was the first song that we were working on the lyrics, and it proved that we can do that. Yeah. So, Best Buy for me right. is the song of Charles Boulevard, you know. Yeah, for me the most important thing was probably getting the lyrics just musical, rhythmical with the music. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. when Pavel would sing sometimes ancient Norse Viking or something, to fill in the words, I would just follow the rhythm of his singing and the phrasing. Mm -hmm. And that was yeah, really yeah. important. That yeah. we would get that, keep the structure yeah. of yeah. your lyrics that you were sort of ad libbing. Yeah, sure, sure. And you know, it, it was easy and it was fun to do, actually. It Fantastic. Was, it was great yeah. fun. But I, I really think that uh, I, I'm very happy with the lyrics. Uh, with the mm -hmm. uh, of yes, course, really. I'm happy with everything, yeah. but great I think job. that even the lyrics are kind of. Uh, um, probably the best we've ever done in our lives. So but it was a true collaboration, it, wasn't it? It was, really. and, and that's why, probably, you know, mm -hmm. because when uh, when you work uh, alone or something, you mm -hmm. don't have the uh, the perspective of the other uh, of the others, mm -hmm. and uh, the collaboration brings it to you. It's. Um, sure. I, I remember when we were working on uh, on the first melodies to, uh, or on the ar arrangements. Yeah. Uh, it was great to have someone here because you can always do it by yourself. But then yeah. it sounds like a better demo. Uh, it it would be something like when you listen, uh, if if you listen to our episode about uh, uh, between two of us, and this could be my last summer. Right. Which are those songs that uh, kind of ended up only as a demo? Uh, you can see it. The songs sound finished, but uh, there is something missing, uh, and that's the perspective of the others, the collaboration. Yeah. Uh, that makes the song great, you know. It's good to get somebody looking from the outside at yeah. the lyrics or whatever, yeah. Yeah. and you can see how it can be improved. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, I think that would be enough for today. Yeah. We said everything we wanted, probably. If you have any question, just write comments, because uh, we will gladly answer. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, that's it. See you again, and uh, believe... The album will be out soon. So, get ready for that. Viva Charles Boulevard! Viva Charles Boulevard! <laughs>